Throughout the sessions here in the tutorials, you see some different things we do with halftones relating to simple steps. And in this session, we're just going to take a look at how we can print halftones with the macro and how we would go about doing that. I'm going to go ahead and take a look at a graphic here on page two. Once again, our simple lumberjack design. Now, before we convert this to halftones, we're going to have to convert it to spot colors, and we'll actually want to do that with simple steps. So we'll have control over our halftones before we convert to halftones. So how do we have control of halftones? Very simple. Open up simple steps here and we'll take a look at our colors first in our graphic before we go to half tones. We want to get this to spot colors or pantone colors in Corel Draw. So we create a palette from our graphic, making sure we got everything selected. See we've got 16 colors here. If we go to show color names, we can see we don't have any spot colors here. We're not going to be able to convert this to half tones or even separations at this point working in Corel if we want to deal with spot colors. Obviously we could do this as CMYK out of Corel, but we want to use spot colors for screen printing. One of the things we want to take into account is the increments of our tints before we make our conversion. I'm going to take that down to two. Now, our from and to in our tinted palette refers to density, and that refers to our halftones. And if you want more information on that, review the other tutorials. We go into that in detail. But we know that in halftones below 15%, we're going to have some trouble holding those. Over 85%, they might fill in. So we don't want any conversion of our graphic to less than 15% of our color or more than 85%, except for 100%, which is included. This is now giving us control over our halftone dots. So we're not going to print or burn dots that we're going to fill all the way or dots that we're not going to be able to hold. Very powerful control of our halftones and conversion to spot colors in CorelDRAW in this. And you can customize this for your shot. Let's say you want it to be between 20 and 80% as opposed to 85 and you wanted a 1% increment as you can see here. Now, if I create a tinted palette from selected palette colors and actually I need to go ahead and select these colors first. So I want to get my black, yellow, brown, red, and white set up with my conversions here and now I'll go ahead and create that palette. Now what I've done here is I've got from 20 to 20. I made an error here and I actually got to made this. So I'm only going to get these because I'm not set up correctly. I want to be from 20 to 80. Make sure that's 80 and now create a palette. Now these are the colors that we're going to convert to that are going to be translated into our halftones. This tinted palette is a very powerful feature. I use it all the time in my work and in my conversion. So I'll go ahead and close this. Now to convert this, all I have to do is come down here to one click conversion and that will convert my graphic to those colors. If I want to do some tweaking, left click, bring this down over the jeans, turn that to 100% brown. Now to go ahead and process my halftone all I need to do is I'm not going to need my tinted palette anymore. We'll say we're done tweaking this design. It's all set. I come to my separations tab. If I want an underbase, which I'll go ahead and generate that, choke one point, set up my LPI and my angle, and I'll set this at 55 LPI. I'm going to set my DPI at 800. 600 will work, but higher resolutions are better. It improves the quality of your dot. We can look at it better on the monitor, and it seems to help with the density of your inks a little bit. Then we want to come up here into raster conversions and select halftones. Then very simply click on Generate Separations. We'll get a warning here. This will take some time. I'll go ahead and pause the video. It'll take a couple minutes for everything to be converted because we're dealing with high resolution raster images here, creating our halftones. But we'll go ahead and select OK and we'll let that process. And once Simple Steps have finished processing that, we'll see that we have our white base here on page 8. If we go back to page 7, we'll see our golden yellow. Here we'll see our white highlight or our Pantone trans white. We'll have our, I believe this is actually, this is our brown. Here is our black and here is our red. And if we zoom in, we'll see that we have very good halftone set up here that we can print with very effectively nice round dots as you can see there. Now if I want to print these out on my Epson Stylus 1400, all I'm going to need to do is go to print. Actually what I want to do before I do this, I want to change my page size. Page size. So I'll go ahead and hit cancel here. I want to change my page to 13 by 19. So I want to go here with my width. I'll change this to 19.0. And I'll go ahead and change my height here to 13.0. And I'll hit enter and that'll change that. Next thing I want to do now, I'll go ahead and print my separations. I got my page size set up here. I want to go to properties from my Epson stylus come here and I'll take a look at my page size and I'll actually go down here to Super B 
11 by 19. I'll select OK. And you can see now we've got our half, our excuse me, not our half tones, but our registration marks showing up. And another thing I want to do is go to my properties and I'll go to advanced and I'm going to go ahead and click continue here. I'm going to change this to grayscale because I'm not going to need edge smoothing and high speed. I want to get nice, good, dense dots. We'll select OK. And then we just simply select print. Now, you can see that as we tab through here, I actually want to do is go to separations, print separations. There we go. Now we got just the CMYK black because that's what we convert our halftones to is the CMYK black. And you can see as we tab through, we can see all of our different pages. I actually go to print preview here. And we can zoom in and we can see that all of our pages will print out with our halftones directly from Corel onto our film in our Epson 1400. So you can see that this is really quite a package. If you get an Epson 1400, with film and simple steps, you're going to be able to do some amazing half tones very affordably with a lot of color management power coming out of simple steps and of course the half tones over which you'll have control. And this is actually the arm where you can see the darker color of the flesh and the lighter color. And if we zoom out here you can see there you go. Now once that's done I'll go ahead and close this. We'll go ahead and cancel here and we'll go ahead and wrap here and that's how we'd print our half tones coming out of simple steps into an inkjet such as our Epson 1400.